In a world where the political landscape is as volatile as a powder keg, the recent attack by Iran on Israel has ignited a spark of concern worldwide. This attack it seems was retaliation for a suspected Israeli strike that led to the death of an Iranian military commander, Major General Mohammad Reza Zahedi, and six other Iranian nationals in Damascus earlier this month. The ripples of this incident have affected relations far and wide. Hezbollah, a Lebanese armed group backed by Iran, and the Israeli military have been trading attacks across the Lebanon-Israel border, adding fuel to the fire. In a bold move, Iran seized an Israel-linked container ship near the Strait of Hormuz. This attack has not only sent shockwaves across the region, but has also raised questions about the future of peace in the Middle East. The ripples of this attack are felt far and wide with the potential to escalate into a regional war. This is not a doomsday prophecy but a stark reality, as voiced by Israeli journalist Gideon Levy. He foresees the possibility of a regional war if Israel retaliates, a scenario he doubts will occur, especially in light of the United States' significant aid to Israel. However, there's more at stake here than just Iran and Israel. Analyst Daoub Kutab paints a grim picture of the consequences this exchange could have on the entire Arab world, already reeling from previous conflicts. The repercussions, he warns, will not just be regional, but global. The crux of this crisis lies in the potential involvement of global powers. An Iranian-Israeli conflict could draw in not only the Gulf countries but also the US, Russia, and China. This could lead to an explosive global confrontation, turning this regional issue into a worldwide concern. The future hangs in balance, teetering on the brink of a conflict that could have global repercussions. The international community is watching this situation closely with concerns and condemnations pouring in. President Biden has made it clear that the U.S. will not participate in any offensive operations against Iran. However, he reiterated his support for Israel, praising its capacity to defend against and defeat even unprecedented attacks. Meanwhile, the United Nations Security Council has called for restraint from both Iran and Israel. Secretary General Antonio Guterres emphasized that neither the region nor the world can afford more war, urging the involved parties to defuse and de-escalate. In the Middle East, Jordanian Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi warned of the risk of a spillover conflict. He stated that any escalation in the region would lead down dangerous paths. Saudi Arabia too has voiced its concern over the military escalation and echoed the calls for restraint from all parties involved. In the face of escalating tensions the world watches and waits hoping for restraint and a peaceful resolution in the Middle East.